Hi, this is John with Build Brothers doing a digital roof repair for a 3444 Ryan Drive in Escondido. And at Build Brothers, what we like to do is check underneath the eaves for any uh, wood rot or termite damage. And as you can see, we've got uh, some wood rot here and uh, I've walked the perimeter of the home and there's uh, more wood rot than that. So basically, um, this is called a starter board here. These are starter boards here. So we've got a lot of rotten starter board. Um, and then these guys are called rafter tails that are going um, out from the rafters of the home out to the edges underneath the eaves. And as we get over here, uh, we've got uh, the fascia board that's right here. And so we've got some rotten fascia board on part of the house as well, just due to the roof's age. Um, homeowner told me there was an overlay done. So we've got original underlayment and just uh, kind of doubled up on the shingles here. So um, as I get up here, we have an architectural asphalt shingle, but I'm seeing some shiny spots in the sun. And when there's shiny spots in the sun, that means the granules have come off and some of the asphalt has dried up and you're starting to see some of the fiberglass showing underneath. Um, homeowner did let me know that he did remove all these ridge caps as you see here and I see lots of exposed nails and he was going to do the repair job himself and decided not to do it. Um, we will replace any whirlybirds like this with O'Hagans which will be in lower profile and exhaust uh, just the same as these burly birds. So just a more modern kind of lower profile look. We will also reflash any of these uh, sewer vents and maybe let the homeowner know to trim back this tree to uh, kind of eliminate all this debris build up here, which would keep the roof moist uh, in a wintertime environment when there's more rain and all the stuff just stays up here and just water just sitting on the roof basically. Um, as we move back over here, again, um, all bridge caps are gone on this side as well. Uh, again, the whirly birds will be replaced with O'Hagans. Any uh, T-tops or pipe vents like over here will be reflashed. Um, homeowner said that he may be interested in some TPO on this section of the roof and let him know the properties and how it's solar reflective and how it holds plenty water the best. And he does have some water damage near underneath the eaves on the starter board, uh, kind of right near this chimney. And as you can see, um, the flashing job doesn't look proper. Um, we've got some lifted flashing, some exposed nails on both sides actually. So uh, all this flashing is just, it's not doing anything. And this is just a kind of a repair job that looks like was homemade. Um, said, um, said the home was built in 1978. Um, he put an overlay on the original roof. So the original underlayment is still on, on this roof, which means it's probably got pores in it, it's cracked and it's just broken down. So any water that's getting underneath any of these shingles uh, can basically get right underneath the, uh, the underlayment and onto the wood. That's why we're seeing so much rotten wood. And uh, that's my roof inspection, thank you.